Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pikalski. Today we will continue building financial model uh, for your business idea and today we'll be um, talking about marketing and advertising expenses uh, for the new customers. So the idea of this financial model is that uh, this is a rent calculator. So this uh, financial model uh, may help you to evaluate the uh, how uh, rent payments affect your uh, uh, your business ideas. So at the beginning of this model, you specify how many uh, square meters or square feet um, um, are you planning to occupy in this or that location. So here you specify the amount of square feet or square meters. So this is the uh, square footage of your uh, location. Here is the price per square meter or square foot. Then uh, here you specify uh, the amount of deposit that you um, um, uh, that you pay. Uh, then uh, you specify the uh, grace period, rent grace period in months, rent payments grace period. Then uh, uh, there is a very simple. Uh, there are some very simple inputs uh, concerning when you start getting the first revenues year and month uh, then you specify the investment stage duration in months uh, then uh, we moved uh, then we moved to investment plan before creating activity here we specify what we invest in how much we invest in uh, then we specify so for example we have five types of customers we have we can switch them on and off uh, we can specify the average check for each type of customer, direct expenses from this average check. Then we can also specify the duration of the life cycle for this or that type of customer. Then we specify how many new customers uh, join our project during the first 36 months of operating activity. And then we extrapolate uh, the number. Um, then we uh, calculate the revenues. Um, so then we calculate first of all the amount of new customers. And then uh, we specify uh, the customer behavior uh, for different types of customers. So for example, customer type number one uh, purchases twice a month during uh, four months of its life cycle. Customer type number two purchases three times a month uh, during his eight month life cycle. So we can uh, specify these parameters to calculate the revenue the right way. Uh, because uh, customers won't stay with you forever. So you have to calculate the revenues looking at the point that uh, one day uh, th this or that type of customer will disappear. So, so this, this will uh, avoid you uh, making mistake concerning exaggerating the revenues. So you will get as a very accurate payback period, profit, profitability, and so on. So then, uh, then we calculate um, the revenues, the revenues. Then we move to direct expenses. Then we calculate uh, in campaign the uh, 36 months of operating activity. These expenses are not linked to the amount of customers. This is just marketing and advertising campaign no matter how many new customers we, uh, we get. But uh, we should create the algorithm for uh, talent uh, for uh, customer acquisition uh, expenses, marketing and advertising expenses concerning uh, customer acquisition. And this video will be about that. So um, maybe this video will be useful for you. You may give us a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. You can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas. We can help you with that. So let's start. So first of all, we need to calculate um, the amount of new customers. Uh, so this is this is the first step. So 
so we are creating totals so these are the revenues we are going high and here we will be able to see new customers inside the timeline so when we when they appear we just have to create the totals for these five lines so this is the first step now the next step uh, we need to describe um, different sources from which our uh, customers will uh, will come so uh, sources of sources of customers so we have uh, type of source so source one so for example let us have five sources of customers five sources of customers So we can, uh, we will start with uh, coloring them with blue because blue is the specific color uh, for all our inputs. So here we can just type YouTube, Instagram, um, Facebook. So any uh, source uh, that you that, that that will give you the customers. So uh, here we just name uh, different sources which uh, give you uh, the customers, the new customers. What's next? The next step, um, we just have to allocate, um, create a structure of new customers inside the timeline. So what we will do? Um, so here, uh, marketing, marketing, and let's let's name this so here uh, months of um, operating operating months from from the start of operating activity months of operating operating activity So this will be the first column here we will because uh, we have 10 years of operating of the horizon we will create 120 uh, lines So here will be the end of this block of input. Then we should specify what will be these months. This will be year, month. So, uh, 
uh, let's say we will put month month here month number month number so the month number so the month number comes from the top so investment plan here so September so this is ninth month inside the typical year so here on the top we specify that we start operating activity in September 2022 September is the ninth month inside the typical year I'm just taking this number for the from the previous table then uh, what I'm doing so if this value if this value equals to 12 then we're starting a new cycle otherwise this plus one so this will be months numbers then here will be month name and year and year so month will be we will use VLOOKUP we will use VLOOKUP we will search this value in uh, this table I will need the second column and exact match I will freeze this table so now we get uh, month names from top to the bottom the next step we should add here the year so we start the first year is when we start the breaking activity is 2022 it is 2022 it is 2022 so then we write a formula if if this one equals to 12 then we take this value plus 1 otherwise we pick the, uh, the previous value so we've prepared the timeline for allocation Uh, allocation of customers so the next uh, step is uh, now we can specify uh, how we allocate the customers between the sources uh, they come from so we have five uh, sources So here we have five sources. Percent of new customers allocation allocated. Allocation. So we will get here a total, total, total percentage allocated. So 
so here we have we will have the inputs so we color them color them with blue this will be percentage format so for example at the first uh, 12 months the uh, allocation between uh, the new customers will be I will get here the totals So for example during the first uh, 12 months so 20% of new customers will come from the source number one 30% will come from the source number two and so on so this is the we are we are going to um, uh, allocate to work with how we allocate the new customers but inside the timeline of our project the structure of allocation uh, may be different so business is changing everything is changing so uh, so we uh, may face the situation the situation when, when we will have to reallocate uh, percentages so we can uh, play with these allocations here i will create conditional formatting uh, here so for example um, a new rule use the formula this value this value equals to one equals to one format will be format will be more colors format will be green font will be black okay okay so for example if we locate more than 100% or less than 100% uh, then we will see here the red sign and now I will just extrapolate this formula this conditional formatting from top to the bottom so this is the first step the next video will be devoted to uh, to the uh, to the cost of acquisition. So, uh, if this video was useful for you, you may give us a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. You can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas. We can help you with that. So, see you guys in next videos. Thank you and bye.